this is Michelle Frost from Mission Mojo and I'm here today with another tutorial. This time we're going to learn more about how to use MailChimp. In fact I think what I might do is maybe four or five smaller videos chunking up uh, the how to get started and use MailChimp so that you've got best chance of being successful in setting up and using your MailChimp. It is actually quite a very uh, quite a simple program to use uh, but a few people get a little bit stuck along the way so hopefully by providing you with just the basics that you need today you won't get so stuck. We've had a lot of coaching clients who have wanted to use MailChimp but they're just not sure where to start so hopefully today you'll learn enough to be able to get going. Now the best way to teach you I thought was to show you how I'm setting it up in a real life case. So currently over at our Mission Mojo a Facebook group we're about to run a content challenge so a challenge to help people create more content out of one piece of content basically it doesn't start uh, for a few more weeks in fact as you can see by the countdown here starts in 23 days but in the meantime while I'm setting all this process up what I need to do is start collecting email addresses of people who are interested in being a part of the challenge so I'm going to do that via MailChimp so this form here, which is already on the website, and we'll have a very short look at that uh, shortly, is you know what I need to be able to get into the background of that and set it up and connect it with the MailChimp program and my MailChimp account so that all of the emails and names that get put in here actually end up over on the, the website on MailChimp so that I can use them and send them emails when I need to about this challenge. Okay, so I'll flick over to MailChimp. Now this is just the home page of MailChimp depending on when you're watching this will depend on what you will see um, what we're going to do today is just sign up for the free MailChimp and I'll give you a quick look at the pricing so that you can see you get quite a bit for free and at this moment that's all we're going to be I'm going to be showing you but I will show you well in saying that I will show you very briefly just a little bit uh, you know I'll give you some rundown on why um, perhaps moving up to this level the next level up where you actually pay $10 a month may well be uh, a good move for you. And I think it's $10 a month, as it says, starting at $10 a month. So it is actually based on how many people you have in your list. So how many email addresses you've managed to collect. So it may be a bit more than that, depending on that. However, right now we're going to start over here in the forever free. And I think it gives you a, up to at least... Uh, 2,000 email addresses and you can email them there you go you can either email those 2,000 people uh, up to 12,000 emails can go out in a month so um, you could technically send them all six emails in a month if you had 2,000 subscribers uh, and you would still be within the the range of the free so that's pretty good now we're going to go over to the signing up so rather than logging into one of the actually have a few counts at MailChimp uh, what we're going to do is start from scratch. So ignore all this bit where it's trying to put in extra things. So you just need to put in your uh, details. I'll pause this video while I type it in so you don't have to watch me type because I'm terribly slow and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so I've put in my details and then I get this message which tells me to go to my emails and to activate the account I need to click a link in there. So I'll go and do that. Okay, so the next thing I see after I click the link inside the email is, well, I have to confirm that I am indeed human and I guess not a monkey. <laughs> so um, we confirm by clicking the button. It's all pretty self-explanatory. I don't think you'll have any issues following uh, the instructions at all. Oh, except look, I have a link failed. So <laughs> we go back and do that again. All right, hold on a tick. Well, after saying that, it does seem that I can continue with this uh, tutorial. It's just, just let me keep going. So I'm not sure what the broken link was about. As per usual, everything in the tech world is confusing, <laughs> which is why I'm here. So let's follow these instructions and tell MailChimp a little bit more about ourselves. So they want to know uh, what the name of the business is. I'm Mission Mojo and my website address what a very good question the quickest way i find to get website addresses and make sure i don't make mistakes 
Yeah, so actually go and copy them from your actual website or from the website that you need. And now I won't, you know, there's no mistake there. I'm not going to mistype and um, people aren't going to find a broken link. So then hit continue. And then you need to put in an address and this is actually part of uh, international email law. So I put in my address. Um, maybe I better just choose one of those. Yep, so that's pre-filled it for me. So that's my address, very nice. Then we hit continue. Uh, does your business sell anything online? Well, I guess it does. And this is just about, uh, I guess if you're gonna do a paid version, there's all these other cool things that you can do, including uh, integrations with different shopping carts and things like that. You can also connect it to your social media so that you can share any emails that you create that might be sort of, of a, a broadcast sort of nature, which is probably what you will be doing, that you'd like to be able to reach more people than just the people on your list, for example. Then uh, you can just hit the share button. It'll go from out to your Facebook or your Twitter followers. It's actually not a bad idea, especially when you're doing um, you know, promotions and things like that. So at the moment though, I won't bother doing that right now. I just hit continue. Uh, so now it says that it's all ready to go. I can subscribe to get emails from them, but again, I won't worry about that right now. As you can see, it's optional. I just hit go. So now we are inside um, Mailchimp. And what I'm gonna do is stop this video and I'm gonna start a second video and show you how to set up some of the things in here rather than getting the video too long. So now you've created a Mailchimp account. You've confirmed that you are indeed a human being and you've set up the basics uh, and we'll come back in a minute and we'll set up uh, your first list and then we'll look at campaigns and things like that so I won't be a tick and we'll be back.